the triple, triple towers, towers of power. power. The, the mighty, mighty 790, 790 News Radio, KFGO. The mighty 790 and 1047 KFGO, New Jersey native. Frankie Valley in the Four Seasons there, walking like a man across the United States of America. That is what Lewis and Aiden Ardeen are doing. The boys are from New Jersey. They started around May 1st. They're going to walk about 3,000 miles from New Jersey to San Francisco to help raise money and support restaurant workers. Uh, we'll actually have to find out exactly where they're headed for in uh, California. The brothers are making this uh, trek across America to support restaurant workers hit hard by the coronavirus pandemic. Uh, they're raising revenue and, of course, raising a lot of awareness while they're doing it. Uh, let's get to just outside of Chicago, Illinois, and get caught up with Lewis and Aiden Ardeen. Good afternoon, boys. Hey, Good man. afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you? Well, we're doing great here. More importantly, how are you guys doing? You doing okay? We're doing fantastic. We are currently walking into... Chicago, the third biggest city in the United States of America. Uh, it's it's so cool. We're just like pinching ourselves all day as we see the downtown get closer. It's like we're really like we're doing it, you know. Yeah. We we walk through Chicago. <laughs> this seems like a pretty big feat. Yeah. Yeah, congratulations! That's got to be so cool to see Chicago. You know, as you're walking up to it, almost looks like you're. You know, coming up on a mountain or something like that because you can see it from such a distance. That must be a really cool exactly. walk. Yeah, that's exactly what I was saying. We came out of, like, this big industrial zone in uh, northern Indiana, and we crossed the border. We got on this bike trail, and all of a sudden, we're looking at Lake Michigan. We've never seen the lake before. And, uh, oh, you, Lewis has. I'm sorry. And then we just peer around to our left, and there you can see the skyline. So we've just been, you know, making our way slowly but surely closer and closer. Well, fantastic. Congratulations. That's quite a feat already. Uh, are you going to stay are you gonna stay in Chicago over the weekend? Yeah, we're going to yeah. get a hotel tonight, and then tomorrow we're going to hike up to our friends. And I think they're in, uh, like, north of Wrigley Field. Yeah, just a couple miles north of Wrigley Field. So we'll stay with them. They're going to post us up, uh, host us until uh, Tuesday morning, and then we'll make our way out of town. Well, wonderful. Any chance you'd get to a Cubs game or anything like that while you're there? Uh, I think this trip, we're not- so when we were in Philly, we went to the Phillies game, but I think we're gonna we're gonna go to the art museum instead ah. with, uh, with our free time. Good for you. So the art museum, the field museum, what are you gonna do? Uh, well, I studied art in college. I'm actually a painter and, and an artist myself, Chris Lewis, and uh, I I just wanted to come to the art museum here in Chicago, the art institute, for a very very long time. So it's kind of like realizing a, a dream. <laughs> so pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> I understand. Uh, when I was in Chicago, we went to the Field Museum. I wanted to see the Lions of Savo. Have you ever seen that movie, The Ghost in the Darkness? Do you remember that? No. Yeah, it's, it's, it's no, a, I'm not, not familiar. It's I have a to check it out. Val Kilmer movie. Val Kilmer and Michael Douglas. It's, uh, well, I think it's back in the 90s or something like that. But it's a true story about lions, man-eaters in Africa when they were trying to build a railroad. And the remains, the stuff, stuffings, I guess, uh, are in the Field Museum along with the Tyrannosaurus. Anyway, uh, I hope you have a, a great cool. time. The uh, uh, Broadcast Museum is there. And there's a, uh, I'm not sure where your guys are staying in downtown tonight, but there is a uh, a hotel with a restaurant, and it's called the Weber Grill in Chicago. Okay. And all they have are Weber Grills. They cook everything on those grills. I'm telling you, fellas, <laughs> if you get a chance to eat there, whew, my mouth's watering just right. thinking about it. Uh all right, I'll, I'll uh, put yeah, it on the too. list. Yeah, the, yeah the, we'll look into that. The Weber Grill. Uh, so uh, I was going to ask what's for dinner, so there's my suggestion. We always like to get caught up in the uh, random acts of kindness with people you come across along the way, much like Lewis and Clark depended on the kindness of strangers when they made their way across the country. Uh, did you have any random acts of kindness this week? Uh, yeah. We did, actually. Uh, we We were making our way along uh, the old Lincoln Highway and uh, this guy happened upon us in his truck and he, he actually, we saw him turn around and, and whenever we see that we know we're going to get a good good line of questions and uh, he was just curious about what we were doing and uh, you know, we connected and, and we gave him our Instagram and you know a, a day later he reached out and he, he said he was going to be 
heading towards the town that we were we were close to. So he offered to pick us up from our campground, and he took us out to eat. And it was a uh, it was really nice. You know, he's an Indiana farmer. His name is Jake, and uh, it was it was cool. <laughs> it was yeah. Like it was like a like a someone we've been friends with a long time that we just met. You know, we all got along really well, and we had a really nice meal. And uh, yeah. <laughs> And then he dropped us back off at the campground, and and we went on our way the next day. Uh, yeah, it was very nice. That's really that just warms my heart to hear stories like that. And you guys are kind of keeping a vlog, aren't you? Are you going to try to write a book, produce a, a video of, uh, of your exploits? Uh, so that was Lewis's condition to join me on this trip. I'm a writer, or I try to write. Um, so I, I've been journaling, and I, I have to write a book and actively seek to publish it at the conclusion of our journey. That was both condition for joining me. Well, I think that's a great idea. Now, remember, they had to drag it out of Meriwether Lewis when they got back from the Lewis and Clark. They didn't publish their exploits for decades afterwards. So, yeah, make sure that you get going and get that thing written up uh, when you get back. Okay. I can't wait. A little wait. quicker than a few decades. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, medical and health update. Fellas, uh, you got new tennis shoes last week. Uh, we were talking to some folks earlier today. They wanted to know uh, how many tennis shoes, pairs of shoes that you've gone through so far. Uh, this is Lewis here. I'm currently on my second pair of shoes. Uh, my first pair was, uh, was Hoka's, and now I'm wearing a pair of Ultras. But uh, I definitely should have had another pair in there between because I put about 750 miles on the first pair and uh, you know my dogs were very sore they were barking actually so <laughs> happy to have a new pair of shoes <laughs> I feel great now so everybody's healthy you guys are feeling okay your feet are okay oh yeah we feel great yeah we feel we feel stronger every day well I'm glad to hear that so you guys had a, a thunderstorm to go through you know and we're watching rain come across the state of North Dakota this afternoon uh, much needed, but uh, you guys got caught up in a storm in your tent, huh? Yeah, so we've heard that we're kind of on the edge of Tornado Alley. You know, we, we give great respect to the weather, and we check the weather report frequently, And um, but it just it turned so quick, and we were camping in Indiana. A storm came through, and we were making dinner, so that was fun. We had to make dinner in our tent, <laughs> and then um, we thought maybe another storm was going to come in early in the morning. But, you know, if it was anything like the storm we had just dealt with, you know, it would last 30 minutes and we'd be fine. It it was it was terrifying. Yeah, we, <laughs> we, were, we were laying there. I was trying to fall asleep, but it was really humid, and I just couldn't get to sleep. And, like, on our tent, we have these two flies, kind of just the doors to the rain flies. So we leave them open to allow airflow in, and uh, I'm laying there, and I can just – I just felt the wind pick up. And I, I remember waking Aiden up and go, Aiden – Close your fly. <laughs> she wakes up with a shock. Closes it really fast, and then as soon as that happened, it just the sky just opened up, and yeah. you know it, it lasted all night. And oh. It was pretty scary. Not yeah, gonna lie, yeah, we felt some lightning come down on the campground, and um, yeah, it was electric. Oh my gosh, I can't believe somebody didn't, from the campground didn't come and get you and put you in a shelter. Yeah, you know. <laughs> well, <laughs> We should have been more vigilant, I suppose. Uh, we were okay. We were okay. We got a great okay. tent. So. We learned a valuable lesson. So have you run across any media covering you on your or on your walk uh, the last couple of days, last couple of weeks? Um, so when we were in Fort Wayne, we were able to meet with uh, the ABC affiliate there. Um, and we did a little piece about Cindy's Diner, which is like a local establishment in Fort Wayne. Uh, woman-owned and run. And... Uh, you know, they bought us our breakfast, and we talked about our project, and um, definitely grew our following a little bit. And now we're just trying to see if we can connect with anybody here in Chicago. So we've got some pokers in the fire, and something will hit. Well, I, I hope so. I mean, I think you guys are a tremendous story, and I think it'll pick up uh, more, uh, you know, press as you guys get closer and closer uh, to your goal as you go across the country. Absolutely. Where where are you going in California, by the way? I, I'm reading the thing that said San Francisco. Are, is that where you're headed? Yeah, so our ultimate destination is San Francisco, um, and we will touch the Pacific Ocean at Stinson Beach. Man. And that will be the conclusion of our journey. That's now. You guys haven't figured out by by now in talking to me that I'm a history geek and a huge Lewis and Clark fan. And the uh, uh -huh. the chapter in the book when Clark sees the Pacific Ocean is oh the joy. So I'm I'm sure that when you guys finally get to the ocean, it'll be one of those oh the joy and, and you go jump in. Are you going swimming when you get there? 
Oh, absolutely. It's going to be a religious experience. <laughs> I this would be the first time in my life that I haven't been in the ocean in the summer. It's, uh, it's, a, strange, it's a strange realization. Well, I, that'll be a fun day when you get there. Uh, fellas, uh, yeah. your, your needs as you are in Chicago, do you guys need anything? No, we're doing well. We're pretty well provided for. Uh, we got people looking out for us. And uh, like I said, we got a place to stay. We got a, people, a couple people offered to get us dinner while we're here. So, you know. Good. Good to hear. Uh, again, guys, if you wouldn't mind, would you give us all the information again to follow you guys and to make a donation to the Restaurant Association and to help you guys out, too, along the way? Uh, how do we follow you and get all that information? Absolutely. Um, our primary page and we're most active on is Instagram, and that's Ardeans X America. So I'll spell that for you. It's A R D I N E S X America. Um, and you can find the do- donation link through that page as well as on our website, unmutedstories.org slash donate. And um, I'm happy to report we've quit- raised almost $28,000 so far. Woo. So, um, yeah, we feel great. Well, you should be, and you should be very proud of what you guys are doing as well. Uh, always concerned about your safety, of course. Guys, it's always a thrill to get caught up every Friday as you're walking across America during the summer of 2021. I, I sure appreciate the opportunity to talk with you. Lewis and Aiden Ardeen from New Jersey walking to California to raise revenue and raise awareness for restaurant workers in America after a tough, tough year with the COVID virus. Lewis and Aiden, you please be careful on the road. It's wonderful to get caught up with you, and I hope you enjoy Chicago this weekend. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. You Have a great weekend. Yep, you too. Get some rest, guys. That's Lewis and Aiden Ardeen from New Jersey walking across America to benefit others, to benefit the Restaurant Association and restaurant workers everywhere in America. Isn't that cool? It's Ardeen's X America, Instagram and Twitter, and unmutedstories.com slash donate. Unmutedstories.com slash donate. And we'll have all that information on our podcast in just a few minutes. So there you go. So uh, please check that out and uh, go check them out and be generous if you can. 453. You're listening to The Drive with Dan Michaels on the Mighty 790 and 1047 KFGO. On the next News and Views, we're going to get a chance to visit with the troopers. That's right. Heading into the 4th of July weekend, what can we do to be safe? What do we need to look out for? Right here on the Mighty 790 and 104.7 KFGO.